right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, it's that time again. Glad to see you're all here. Welcome to the 80th Jumping Frog Jubilee. Calaveras County Jumping Frog Jubilee, the 80th year here. Want to make sure that you're all comfortable and having a good time. We've got uh, a lot of action planned for you today. Uh, the frogs have been jumping phenomenally well. The marks are high. Everybody's shooting for Lee at that world record, of course. We've got some gray tape out here that's marking where that record is. So you'll be able to kind of tell as well if you can see it there. And I uh, want to welcome all of you here again. Most of you are uh, old hat with this. You've been here a lot, but I want to welcome especially the ones that are here for the very first time. Welcome to this phenomenal event. Great family entertainment. Welcome again. We're getting a few things lined up in the back, and, uh, and uh, I want to just take one moment to just thank Comcast for sponsoring us, Sierra Ender Engineering for some refreshments, Calaveras Lumber, Dick Wilhurst for some financial support, Mark Jarkins for refreshments as well. And uh, I'm going to introduce our judges here. We've got four judges on the stage. Uh, spotting the marks, the stick men as we call them. We have on uh, stage right in the front, Doug Graham. Think about Doug, wave your hat. Stage right, back corner here, Jim Amrizzoli. Stage left in the front, Tim Burt. Stage left in the back here, Steve Alls House. On tape, we have Matt Traub back here. And also Gary Bird right back here. Frog handlers this year will be Ashley Childers. Wherever Ashley is, she just had to go do something to Ashley. Dog on it. And Gary Bird. And on timer. We've not, you know, you haven't seen the timer actually happening during the main competition, but it was happening. But officially here for this jump, the timer will be very active. Rafael Miranda. There you are, right here. You know, I, while we're uh, getting that final information, I want to, you know, tell you that there's uh, one of the big froggers here that's been coming up for over 50 years. Frank Morelli Jr. or Senior, Frank Morelli Jr. is here, but Frank Morelli Senior is not going to be able to be here this year. He's having some medical issues and we're saying kind words for him and he's in our thoughts. But his wife, Lillian, or uh, Isabella is here. And then their friends, Gene and uh, Lillian Fasano, are celebrating their 50th anniversary. They've been coming. Frank and Isabella roped them into it. They haven't quit yet. It's been like generations of these families going on. So here we go. Hallelujah. That's good news. I just got informed that the carnival has reopened up above. We're happy to report that those kids are doing as well as can be expected. Uh, you know, we thought some serious stuff was happening. Some serious things did happen. But the good news is, is they're doing well, and we're happy for that. They're our prayers, but the carnival's been reopened again, and that's a good thing for the entire fair, so good on us here. My name's John Allred, I forgot about that, but uh, <laughs> I'm telling you that as well. Alrighty, are we ready to roll here with some? We've got the fabulous ladies, and I've been telling them all weekend that they're really hot, and they are, <laughs> and they're talented as well, and they keep track of all the tabulation and records and they've spent a good amount of time here sorting through everything and making sure everything is correct and accurate and by golly we've got a tabulated list that all the jockeys have as well so i'm getting a signal okay we've got you know as always there are some uh, sanctioned jumps that occur outside of the fairgrounds throughout the year and we have contestants coming in and if we either supply jockeys or they actually oftentimes will come this far and participate in this. So we've got, we'll start off with uh, these few jumps and uh, get things rolling and then we'll get right into the, the main competition with it. But I think, let me first of all, before I forget, 
our Saddle Queens, and our Miss Calaveras County contestants. These ladies, come on up here. I want you to take a moment. Welcome them, please. Give them a good round of applause. They well deserve it. And if you don't mind, ladies, would you please introduce yourself and pass the mic along? These ladies, they do a lot of hard work, and we really appreciate them immensely. Beautiful as you are, so. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is it, the 80th. All right. This first sanctioned jump is from the assessor's office. We have a jockey, Adrian Reamer, and the frog's name is Mean Green Hopping Machine. Adrian Reamer. Is it Reimer? Reimer, I apologize. I had an inkling that it might have been, so Adrian, accept my apology. But Adrian Reimer with Mean Green Hopping Machine, and this is for the assessor's office. Hey, all right, there's a good mark out here. It's easy on the cement. Big wet spot leaving there. As all of you know, but I'll explain it as we go along for the first timers here. How many of you here for the first time? Wow, fantastic. Welcome aboard here. This is uh, 16 feet even. The uh, frog has to be placed on the pad with all four feet must be contained on the pad. They can touch the frog while it's on the pad to motivate it, but once it leaves the pad, they cannot touch it, and the frog can't touch them either, so they, they can't get in its way, and they get three jumps. Hopefully it'll go straight, but if they, they make a turn, as this one did, we have to measure straight across and take that mark from the center of the pad. If that frog should happen to bump into one of us on the judging team here, we give them option to for a trajectory mark or an, a start over. If it bumps into them or their equipment, it's a disqualification. So that's how it works. Altaville Maloney's is number uh, the next sanctioned jump. And do I have a jockey name? Wyatt, Wyatt Kitchell is going to do this jump for the Altaville Maloney's. He's got a fan club here and well deserved. Member of our local frog team, and he's away it goes. Look at that. Oh, and he gets away. Can you believe those frogs are so fast? Kimber's got a mark on it out there, close to something we, in the 18 foot range, 17 something, I'm guessing. 17 feet, six and one quarter inches. That's a heck of a good start. I told you these frogs are doing pretty well this year. This warm weather, the frogs don't like it much better than we do, you know. They want to head for some shade. And now the next sanctioned jump is, uh, is this sanction? Number C. Well, this is the winner of the, the junior. We had the kids this morning, uh, and that ended at 11 o'clock. And Nicole Borelli of the Borelli Augustine Frog Team won the juniors, which are 13 to 18. And uh, she brought her frog in and won with a 15, three and a half. And uh, she's in the junior division, so she automatically got into the grand finals here. She wants to restart, pick that rascal back up, get his chin up. Oh, heartbreak. Off the pad in front. There it is. 
is. Oh, and it takes a little hop. She disqualifies the rascal. She did much better early. Let's give her a hand. That's always a heartbreak. She knew as soon as that frog did its first jump that that wasn't going to make any progress in the headway. And so here is the, the winner of the kids' division up to age 12, and that's Gabby Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team. So Gabby, she's one happy frogger, this girl, with Jumpin' Sunshine. That's who she is. Oh, and a little tiny hop in the middle there. She had qualified with a 17 and 8. But the darn thing is, is you can't tell what those frogs are going to do at any given time. It's just 10 foot 5, 10 feet and 5. Thanks. All right, this sanction jump is from John Sutter School in Santa Clara, and this is the 43rd annual sanction jump that they've uh, organized and held. And this year's winner was Connor Agu with a frog named Froggy, and he qualified with 17 feet 3 inches. So Connor and I believe his uh, younger brother, twin brother, are going to come out and jump the frog together from Sutter School in Santa Clara. 43 years they've been running a sanctioned jump. And this is just part of that continuation, so. I love it. You guys are being very, very good at acknowledgement here, and it means a lot to them. It really. Nine foot, ten, and one quarter. All right, here we go. So this is right into the official one, right? Here we go, folks. This is it. That's the end of the sanctioned jumps we've held. And uh, we've got here Laura Kitchell coming in. To give you an idea of how, how competitive this year, the lowest number was a 16 and 9 that she qualified for. And that's actually really high. So, I, I mean, the frogs were doing great. So, Laura Kitchell with the Calaveras Frog Jockeys from Altaville. I heard it through the ribbon is the name of the frog. I heard it through the ribbon. Taking a little right turn there. Steve's got a mark for it. We're going to mark them all here unless they disqualify them. They have that option. You may have been watching during the week and they would say, no mark, no mark. 14 feet 2, 14 feet 2 inches, thank you Laura. Next up with a qualifying jump of 16, 9 and 3 quarters, Mark Judice. It happens to be his dad that holds that record up there. Mark Judice with the Judice Gazellas Matasi team out of Santa Clara with Magnificent Mark, the name of the frog, Magnificent Mark. Oh. Smokey, are you hot, bud? <laughs> no, air conditioner, that'll work. No way. Fan inside. No way. What's up, buddy? All right, Mark. Oh, almost over, jockeyed the rascal, but he put on the air brakes and stopped in time. We'll get a uh, measurement for Mark. 16 feet even, 16 even. Next up with a qualifying jump of 16 and 10 is Chad Jassick from the Jassick Frog Squad. Right out of Pleasant Hill. Jassick Frog Squad, all over it is the name of, the, of Chad's frog, Chad Jassick. Jassic. 
They've all got their numbers. They should know where we're at. Maybe he fainted. It was so hot out there. It just... Oh, he borrowed Bob's cape and became invisible. I don't believe it, Bob. Chad, where'd you go, brother? Well, I don't know. Uh, this usually doesn't happen, folks. You got me at a loss. Um, son of a gun. Chad Jasek, where are you, bruh? We gotta run a timer here, I guess, and I'm just. I don't know. I mean, everybody's, you know, they wait patiently at the back door there to catch our numbers, and uh, it's just standard protocol here, and everybody, nobody's new to it. Huh? 30 seconds, Chad. Come on, Chad, we're rooting for you. Where are you at, man? He must, uh, I don't know, that's a, set, that's a shame. He had a qualifier of 16-10. He lost his mind and he's not in line. All right, folks, well, I guess, uh, what do you think, Rafael, is that? Tells me it's over. It's over. Who, hey, who's this? Yo. Wait your turn, brother. All right, Chad Jasic is a DQ here. Sorry about that. We were given every chance, John. Just same as I would have given you. Mike Nash, you're up next. Number four here, Mike Nash. Mike Nash. Mike. Mike Nash is up. Mike Nash, Calaveras Frog Jockeys, with a qualifying jump of 17 feet even, 17 foot even, and his frog was Twisted Oak Jumper. Mike Nash, Calaveras Frog Jockeys, out of Vallecito. All right, Mike. Mike Nash, Calaveras Frog Jockeys, Twisted Oak Jumper. Whoo, that's a hard break. Smart man, he wears some protection for his knees on this hard cement here under this seemingly soft rug, but I'll tell you folks, this is a hard, hot copy up here. Ten foot, four and a half inches. Ten foot, four and a half inches for Mike. All right, Rich, now it's your turn, my friend. This is, he's new at this and he's anxious as anybody gets hooked on this frog jumping can be. Oregon Frog Team, Rich Green, Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike was the name of the frog. He qualified with a 17, one and a half. And as I say, even though they, we've had people that have broken records with qualifiers, but it only counts to qualify. 14 foot, eight inches, 14 and eight. All right, number six, we have Jerry Heinz. Jerry's still doing it. Man, he's been doing it a while with the Calaveras Frog Jockeys. Green Cowboy is the name of the frog, Green Cowboy, and Jerry's out of, right here in Angel's Camp. Jerry Heinz, Green Cowboy, qualified with a 17 and three. All right, Jerry. He never say die here, this is. Man, he worked and worked at getting in the qualifications. By golly, one frog finally cooperated and got up there and did the trick. Yo, nice jump, Jay. Right on out there. 
All right, we'll get a mark there. Number seven will be next. Sixteen feet, eight and a half inches. Sixteen feet, eight and one half inches for Jerry. All right, qualifying with a 17 and four was from the Bozos, Jacob Smith. Jacob Smith with a frog named Skeeter Eater. He was one happy camper when that frog hit that 17-4 with the Bozos. And again, he's out there, by golly. Look at that, Tim's got a good mark out there for Jacob. Jacob Smith with the Bozos. Look at that frog. You ever dream a frog could be so wily to get right out there? 19 feet, three and a half. 19, three and a half. 19 feet, three and one half inches. Way to go. Number eight coming up here for you, Bud Carl. Qualified with the 17, four and three quarters. With the Judas Gonzalez Matasi team, Bud Carl. Late Night Leader was the name of the frog. Late Night Leader, Bud Carl. Hey, Mark jumps out of the way to keep from disqualifying the frog. He was the netter holding still to that last second. Thirteen feet, eleven inches. Thirteen and eleven for that jump. Number nine coming up with out of the Bozos camp, Sean Hodley with Get Out There, qualified with a 17 and 5. Sean Hodley out of Fresno with the Bozos. Way to keep that frog, made it easy for Steve to make a mark there, didn't even have to move much for him. We'll get a mark there as number 10 gets in the wings ready. Sixteen feet eleven and one half. Sixteen feet eleven and one half. Qualifying with a seventeen six out of the Gustine Frog team was Amanda Fasano. Amanda Fasano, Gustine Frog team with a frog named Hopper. Fasano family comes out of San Jose for this. Grandpa and Grandma are who are having their anniversary up here, so that's who I mentioned earlier. We'll get a mark here as number 11 gets ready. Twelve feet with a half inch. Twelve foot, half inch. Number 11, Brad Gazulas, qualified with a 17 and 6. With Little Leader, the name of the frog. Little Leader, Brad Gazulas. Of uh, the Judas e. Gonzalez Matasi team. Little Leader. Boy, that frog was trying to get away for sure. As number 12 gets ready, we'll get a mark here. Sixteen feet with three quarters of an inch. 16 feet with three quarters of an inch for that jump. Number 12, Gavin Watts, qualified with a 17-7 with no more number two, and he comes out of the Bozos team. Gavin Watts with the Bozos, no more number two. Oh, he's trying like crazy to hedge that frog to the right, and he went over this way. He was trying to steer that frog as best he could without getting disqualified at the same time. There's more to it than meets the eye. They're steering these things. What do you guys want to go do? 14 feet, six and one half inches on that frog. I don't know where my money went. Number 13, Brandon Brooks, qualified with a 17 and seven. Brandon's out of the bozos with Greg Chromedome was the name of the frog. We can only wonder, Greg Chromedome. Brandon Brooks out of Sacramento with the Bozos. Greg Chrome Dome, the name of the frog. Did you see those frogs? 
Coming up, John Kitchell. Foothill Froggers is the name of the team, and John Kitchell qualified at 17 feet 7 and a quarter inches with the name of his frog was 7 pound 8 ounce Little Baby Jesus. John Kitchell, Foothill Froggers. Foothill Froggers, John Kitchell. Seven pound eight ounce little baby Jesus, the name of the frog. Oh, that bee's out there. You gotta give it your all, folks, you know. We've explained it to folks that come in for the first time that you gotta think that frog out there as well and dedicate yourself to making it happen. 18 feet, one inch. 18 feet with one inch. Now number 15 qualified at a 17, seven and a quarter. Rachel Nash. Calaveras Frog Jockeys, Rachel Nash. She's been doing this her whole life. Freakies, er, Fiki's the name of the, the frog there. Sorry about that, Rachel. Rachel Nash, Calaveras Frog Jockeys. This is a seasoned veteran you're looking at. Oh, left turn frog. Thirteen feet nine inches for that jump. All right, number 16 qualified with a 17, seven and a half, and that was Brianna, Brianne Zilke coming up. Brianna Zilke with a frog named Winner. Calaveras Frog Jockeys again, our local team, one of the local teams here. Brianna Zilke. Okay, that frog took a hard right turn and came around the corner. And the mark for her is 13 feet 3 inches. 13 feet and 3 inches for Brianna. All right, now number 17 qualified to the 17, 7 and a half. And that's Bill Gazulis. Champ of the Green was the name of his frog. The Judici Gazulis Matasi team have been doing this for a long time. Bill Gazulis, Champ of the Green is the name of the frog. Oh, well, you know, I think the thrill of it was qualifying for Bill. He put a lot of frogs out there, and his face lit up when he hit that qualifier, and he knew it. And this is how it turns 11 feet even, Bill. Turns to, uh, turns to 11 feet. But at least you had that thrill of qualifying. That, was, that look on your face was fantastic, Dan. Number 18, folks, was uh, qualified at 17, 7 and 3 quarters. Michael Wright with the Bozos out of Fresno. Their widespread group, as many of them are, with a frog named Zero. Michael Wright with a frog named Zero. All right, we're going to get a, a mark here. 12 feet and 2 inches, 12 foot 2. Once they hit this pavement, they don't, they don't go any further, really. Number 19 qualified with a 17 foot 8 inch jump. Justin Fasano, another seasoned veteran, been doing it his whole life, and a frog named Mountain Dew. 
Justin Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team. They've had numerous championships. Yo, come on, a big wet spot. Right up to Sally's foot here. He's after that foot, after that frog. Go ahead, bang the knees and stuff. That, that. These guys, they only see one thing. It's the frog they're after. 14 feet, 3 inches. 14 and 3. Perkin right along here, folks. Number 20. Qualified with a 17 and 9. Casey Nash with the Calaveras Frog Jockeys. One of your local teams here. Casey Nash with Hoppin' Hannah, the name of the frog. Hoppin' Hannah. Casey Nash with Hoppin' Hannah. All right, Casey. See how that Hoppin' Hannah does now? Give him a good soak there. A lot of theory goes into this. Everybody's got it down to a little science about how they take care of their frogs. Look at that. That frog, once he got moving, was really stretching out. And we're going to get a mark for him. 16 feet 8 inches. 16 and 8 for that, that jump. 16 feet 8 inches. Now number 21 qualified with a 17 and 10. And that would be Caitlin Kitchell out of the Foothill Froggers. Caitlin Kitchell right here out of Altaville with a frog named Ferb. That's spelled with a P-H-E-R-B, Ferb. Caitlin Kitchell probably had as much fun naming the frog as she did catching it. Here's competitor. She worked hard at it this week. There it goes. It, it, like I say, once it once it loses, uh, gets that cement, it can't get a grip with, uh, with its feet. No rubber pads on these little rascals, so it shortens it tremendously. 12 feet 1 and 3 quarter inches. 12 foot 1 and 3 quarter inches. Number 22 qualified with the 17 and 10. Martin Herrera with the Oregon Frog Team. Martin Herrera with the frog name El Diablo. El Diablo is the name of the frog for Martin Herrera. El Diablo. Nice and toasty today. Now there's some folks, I was thinking all week we, umbrellas would be the key to it all and I see a bunch of you all got Got that figured out too. I thought that was a good idea, but keep the sun off you. I admire your dedication and thank you tremendously for sitting through this and being here. All right, Martin. Off the pad, Martin. Grab that frog quick. Get him quick. Don't let him. His front feet were off the pad there, and the judge called back to get. Martin Herrera with El Diablo, and that little devil just ran around in a circle there in this hot sun. Oregon Frog Team. Restarts that. Off the pad there, Martin. His front right foot was off the pad. Grab him. Grab him, Martin. Grab him. John says, he says, uh, going to disqualify the frog. He's kind of jumped himself out. Heartbreak. Martin, thanks for participating. Let's have a round of applause for him. He just, the frog's not really going to do it. So, John, the frogmaster says, let's just call it. Number 23 qualified with a 17, 10 and a half. That's Frank Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team. Frank Fasano with the Swamp Boogie King. Swamp Boogie King, Frank Fasano. Oh, hey. Oh, get go oh, right through the fence like that. I don't know how he got by him, but he, 
Bob is fast with that net, and that darn frog pole got behind him. 16 feet, 11 and 1 half inches for that jump. 16 feet, 11 and 1 half. Number 24, number 24 qualified with a 17 foot, 11 inch jump. And he's one of the instigators of the bozos, Bob Yost. Bob Yost coming up with Bob Bitchin, the name of the frog. And he's got his magic cape on. Look out. This is one of the ringleaders from the bozos. And there he goes around in a circle. These frogs are crowd shy, I think. They see you and they, I don't know, I guess they think you're going to bite. Of course, you know, nobody's bitten a frog. We don't bite the lake that feeds us here. Get a mark for Bob. 15 feet, one and one half inches. 15 feet, one and one half inches. Number 25, qualified as 17, 11 and a half. Michael Zoki Jr. Calaveras Frog Jockeys. He brought his rooting section there. He's a popular young man with Barry Cito is the name of his frog. He threw him a fastball in there before and qualified up high. All right, Michael, Michael Jr. Oh, son of a gun. He just did a, right off the pad, got a left turn and just didn't go any further than that. That's all right. Nine foot, one inch, nine feet with one inch. Number 26 we're up to now, qualified with an even mark at 18 feet. Frank Morelli Jr. coming up with El Gumbo Frog. Oh no, Wapo Frog, that's what that is, El Wapo Frog. Frank Morelli Jr. with Augustine Frog Team, El Wapo Frog. He kept after him, he kept that frog. That frog wanted to give up, but he wasn't going to let him. Got under there with a little power thrust. Got a little more footage out of it. 15 feet, 10 and one quarter inch. 15 feet, 10 and a quarter inch. Number 27, qualified with an 18 and a quarter inch jump. Kylie Kitchell. With the Calaveras Frog Jockeys. Kylie Kitchell with a frog named Sounder. This is the, you know, these young folks here, the Vasanos, the Kitchells, the Borellis, all the, this is the future for frog jumping unless you all get involved as well. You can do that, you know, during the open competition. Even the young folks make it look easy, but with a little work and determination, you can do it too. So practice up this year while we get a mark here for Kylie. Good job, Kylie. It's hot out here. 15 feet, two and one quarter inch. 15 feet, two and a quarter inch. Number 28 qualified with an 18 foot, one inch jump. And that's Joseph Kitchell. Calaveras Frog Jockeys. They had some good frogs this year here. The frog's name is Daughter Judy. Joseph Kitchell. Oh, that left turn stuff is killing us. All right, a mark for him here at 14 feet, eight and a half inches. 14 feet, eight and a half inches. All right, here we go with number 29 who qualified with an 18, two and a half. Morgan Maho Mahoney with the Foothill Froggers. Morgan Mahoney, one of the many hardworking jockeys up here. The Foothill Froggers, a frog named D-Line to the finish. D-Line to the finish.
Morgan Mahoney, Foothill Froggers. That's pretty good out there. We have some gray tape out here that marks where Lee's world record is, and that's what they're all shooting for. One, two, three of them. 17 feet, one and one quarter. 17 feet, one and one quarter inch on that jump. All right. Number 30 coming up here, qualified with an 18, two and three quarters. Mike Zilke coming up with the Calaveras Frog Jockeys. Mike Zilke with the Calaveras Frog Jockeys with a, a frog named WFR. WFR. Calaveras Frog Jockeys. Oh. Slippery little rascal, lost. We'll get a mic, mic, a mic for Mark, a mark for Mike. I assume that's 15, one and one half. 15 feet, one and one half. Number 31 qualified with an 18 and three. Pablo Rodriguez with Mi Familia. With uh, Team Green is the name of the team. Pablo Rodriguez. Team Green, Mi Familia is the name of the frog. Pablo hails from Los Altos. Yeah, coming right out to the edge of the carpet there. See those knee pads? Mm -hmm. You got a mark for Pablo at 17 and 1, 17 feet. One inch. All right, next up out of the Oregon Frog team, she number 32 qualified at 18 and 3. Jeannie Martz. Jeannie Martz worked hard at it, boy, she worked and worked. Oregon Frog team, Delbert Sr. is the name of the frog. Out of Sweet Home, Oregon, the Oregon Frog team. All the way out from Sweet Home, Oregon, compete every year. Once you're hooked on this stuff, it kind of stays um, in your blood for a long time. John's continually bringing in new uh, new frog jockeys, giving them a shot at what it feels like to be in this competition. Teaches them, trains them, and works them through the techniques of frog handling here. Yeah, I called him out. Oh, a little right turn, but it was still out there quite a ways. As most true jockey, she's more concerned about her frog than where the mark was. Eighteen feet with a half inch. I, you know, I just want. I was just informed that Mike Zilke finally beat his kids. <laughs> you know how it is. The kids always make you look. Look good. All right, number 33, uh, qualified with an 18, three and one half. Riley Kitchell with the Foothill Froggers with a frog name, I'm Into Frogging. Riley Kitchell. Riley Kitchell with the Foothill Froggers. I'm into frogging. Absolutely talking the truth there. He's into frogging. No doubt. Oh, go left, frog. That's not it. Go straight. During the week here, you guys weren't all out there all at once, and I think the frogs were a little less intimidated and were jumping out there. Sixteen feet, three and one half inches on that jump. Number thirty-four qualified with an eighteen and four. And that's Isabel Borelli with uh, Gustine Frog Team, 
Long Legs, the name of the frog. And this happens to be Isabel's 51st consecutive frog jump without missing a one. If I'm not mistaken, she's having an anniversary around here too, like a 50th. Fifty-one years consecutive. Oh, heartbreak as well. That frog went sideways and around the corner and tried to get behind her and come into the shade. We'll get a mark call. I'll tell you number 35 qualified was an 18 four and a quarter. And the mark for Isabel is at eight foot seven and a half. Eight foot seven and a half. Some years are good, some years aren't so good, but Number 35, 18, four and a quarter is what they qualified with, and that's Lisa Fasano coming up here. Lisa Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team with a frog name, Warped. Wow. Oh, I'll tell you, that's what it's called. Determination to get that frog going. You don't want that frog just sitting there. Go ahead and intimidate it just a little bit. And look, she's right on it. Watch that and judge it. 19 feet, 2 inches. Did you hear that, Jacob? 19 feet, 2 inches. Oh, it's getting shaky. Jim Bertrand was number 36 and qualified with an 18, 4 and a half. He's with the Oregon Frog Team and always name of the frog. I hope I'm saying that right. Always. Off the pad. Good. Catch that frog quick. He's got it back in hand. Jim's getting the ins and outs of this. He's going to get that frog. We'll be dipping there. darn off the pad thing you know it's it's a, a technical issue and they have to really watch it and get them drop them back far enough where they land there they can get those front toes off nine foot four nine foot four number 37 qualified with an 18 six and a half and that'd be Araceli Alvin kind of scraped her knee this weekend but it, it stopped hurting as soon as she heard this was going to happen team green Araceli Alvin with RG the name of the frog Araceli coming up with her frog RG. Well, that's a way to be after him, Araceli. Bye, golly. We'll get a mark for her here. You know, I wanted to mention uh, that photos are being taken of all the jockeys here. And let me get the mark. 18 feet 11 inches 18 and 11 and it, for any of the teams that want to pick up their pictures or preview them it'll be out at the main exit out there this evening won't have to worry about it till then number 38 qualified at an 18 9 and one half and that'd be greg smith with the bozos greg smith comes up out of fresno and had a frog name make them shine make them shine the name of the frog Greg Smith. Make him shine is the name of the frog. Finally got motivated and going there. He's kind of shaking his head there for a minute, wondering what's up with this frog. Sitting there like a lump. Sixteen feet five inches on that jump, sixteen and five. Number thirty-nine qualified with an eighteen nine and three quarter, and that'd be Bob Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team coming up. Bob Fasano with the Fasano family out of San Jose. Aaron Crawfish would be the name of his frog. 
Augustine Franti, Bob Fasano. Some noise coming up here. We got this frog to the Go straighten right out. Heads right over to Jim. Jim's got a nice mark, didn't have to walk too much. Gary says it's 16 feet and 10 inches on that jump. 16 foot 10. Number 40 qualified with an 18, 10 and 3 quarter, and that's Kevin Daly with the Bozos with Becky, where are you is the name of the frog. With the Bozos, Becky, where are you? Kevin Daly. Right up at Jim again. Seventeen foot four inches. Seventeen foot four inches. Next up, number forty-one qualified with an eighteen eleven and a quarter. That's Brent Bloom with the Bozos, and Brent was uh, last year's winner, weren't you, Brent? How? What was your winning jump last year? Twenty-one four and a quarter. Reaching right out there, Brent Bloom with the Bozos out of Sacramento. The well ain't dry is what he calls his frog. Way to go, Brent. Those bozos, they don't clown around much. They're out here in serious goings on. 18 foot, five and a half, 18, five and a half inches. 18 foot, five and a half. Number 42 qualified with an even 19 foot jump. From the Oregon Frog Team, John Cole. John Cole with the Oregon Frog Team with a frog called Little Delbert. Frog team, Little Delbert, out of Sweet Home, Oregon. Oh, they had an emergency water shortage there, so they had to get a couple of buckets. While they're getting their frog ready, I'll make mention of the Hopefully all of you have seen it. Those of you who haven't, you should. Seen the movie called Jump, a frogumentary done by Justin Bookie. Justin's got a box of those videos, DVDs to sell to you. We'll get a jump here for John Cole. Off the pad, quick hands he had. And man, he caught that frog up. Little Delbert off the pad in the back. He sees it as well. There he goes. Oh, okay, well, he got out there on the third jump onto that. But I think, uh, Justin, where are you, Justin? Wave at me. You out there somewhere? Oh, right here. This is the guy you want to find if you want to see that movie, Jump. He did it in 05 out here, and it's it's got a lot of good history about the, the jump and the families that do it. 15 feet, three and a half inches on that jump. 15 foot, three and one half. Highly recommended anyway. So here we go, number 43, qualified with a 19 foot, one and three quarter inch jump, and that's Lillian Fasano. Lillian Fasano here. Lillian's the one having an anniversary, that's what it is, not, not Isabel. Lillian Fasano with the Gustine Frog Team with a frog named Winner. Lillian and hey, hey. just like that, Lillian and Gene have been got hooked into this with Frank and Israel. They 
and they've been coming ever since. So I think their anniversary is like the 50th. 18 foot, four and a half inches. 18 feet, four and one half inches on that jump. Well done. Number 44 qualified with a 19, six and a half from the Gustine. From the Gustine Frog Team, Gene Fasano, with the Viasin Special One, and this is his 50th year of frog jumps. Whether he's in pain or not, he's out here doing it. Gene Fasano, the Gustine Frog Team. Happy anniversary as well. Yeah, Grandpa, they're hollering. Go off the pad, but he's still quick. He's still got it. It's hard, though. He's got a little stuff going on with his legs there that doesn't make it easy at all. But Gene, you're a trooper, I'm telling you. That's what happens when it gets in your blood. I'm... Right? Go one more. Come on, frog. Gene Fasson, thank you folks, that's really great. A little neuropathy stuff messes you up. All right, we get a mark here. 14 foot, one inch, 14 foot, one inch. Number 45, qualified with a 19, seven and a half from the Oregon Frog Team, Lucy Boyer. Lucy Boyer with the Oregon Frog Team with Leap and Lucy. Leap and Lucy, the name of the frog, and Leap, Lucy Boyer. Lucy! Oh, Lucy! Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, Lucy. Oregon Frog Team, Leap and Lucy, Lucy Boyer. Jockey? And another left turn. We'll get a mark here while number 46 is getting ready. 13 and 7, 13 feet 7 inches on that jump for Lucy. Number 46 qualified with a 19 and 8. That would be Tina Bertrand with the Oregon Frog Team. Tina, you're up. Number 46. Misty was the name of her frog, Tina Bertrand, with Oregon Frog Team. Misty. Off the pad up front, they called it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. You want to get these frogs quick so they don't jump their energy out. It's more about just their body temperatures changing and they're evening out and they, they just kind of quiet down when it goes like that. Tina Bertrand with the Oregon Frog Team with her frog, Misty, coming up. They say, no, it's not going to go. Disqualified, they intentionally disqualified it as it wasn't going to do it. So, number 47, qualified with a 20 foot, with a quarter inch jump, Lucy Fasano. Gustine Frog Team. Coming out of Alameda, another team that's spread out with Mini Me is the name of the frog. Lucy Fasano. Uh, this is one of the future froggers. You watch her, like most all the kids, very dedicated, but she's always happy about it. Big smile on her face, regardless. She doesn't lack for enthusiasm with that, keeps that frog motivated. Some little short jumps in there, got a good start, but the second, third, a little short down. 14 and 10, 14 feet, 10 inches on that. Number 48, 
qualified with a 20 and a quarter as well here. That would be from Team Green, Mike Albin. Mike Albin with a frog named Slim. And here comes Slim, Team Green. Mike Albin, Team Green. So were you here? Got that frog straightened out after it took that hard left right off the pad. Trick is staying behind him. Well, anyway. 17 foot even, 17 feet for that jump. We're getting down to the wire here, folks. This here's number 49. Qualified with a 20 foot, two and a half inch jump. From the Oregon Frog Team, the mastermind behind it all, John Hand. John Hand, Oregon Frog Team with Bye Bye Johnny Creek is the name of the frog. Bye Bye Johnny Creek. Yeah, John. We can. This is number 49. And this frog feels isn't quite ready, but Bye Bye Johnny Creek. Oregon Frog Team, John Hand, all the way from Sweet Home, Oregon. Like so many of the other jockeys, always sharing the wealth with this, you know, sharing their knowledge and expertise with younger jump jockeys. And uh, look at that frog dip there. The Oregon Frog Team. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these teams are camping right over here behind the stage area. John Hand, the Oregon Frog Team. Uh, John, he had a feeling the frog wasn't quite ready, but just we have to follow a specific order. But we'll get we'll get a mark for him here. 12 8, 12 foot 8 inches on that jump, John. 12 foot 8. 12 foot 8. All right, folks, here's number 50, Gary Johnson with the Oregon Frog Team. Qualified with a 20 foot 6 inch jump. He says, Goodbye, Froggy. That's it. He uh, came right back at him, and that was it. He wasn't going to go. Surgical surprise with the name of the frog, so. All right, now if you just stick around for a moment, we're going to announce the winner. You may have been keeping track of it yourself. If you did, so much the better. But we'll be having some uh, beautiful trophies. You'll see them here coming out in a minute. And we're going to have the uh, director of the uh, board of directors for the fairgrounds, Bob Trincaro, come out and uh, present these awards. Bob Trincaro's the director and spends the year organizing this along with another bunch of events. But this specifically, the, the frog jump. Hey, Bob. All right.
we're tabulating the scores here now to get it in the proper order so that uh, Bob can introduce everybody to you and present them with their awards and their checks. You know there's money in this. I don't know if you've seen any of the official entry forms or not, but there's a whole listing of how much uh, money's involved. Of course, the big shot money is when you beat Lee's record here. That's what everybody shoots for, but there's, there's a good amount of money to kind of handle some of the expenses that these folks incur coming over here. Believe me, everybody spends a lot of money to come over, just like a lot of you did. We've got people here from Ohio and all across the United States coming in. But I'll tell you, these families have been doing this nonstop for many generations. Just like you all have been coming out here, you and your kids, grandparents come out, same story goes on here. Get to enjoy a real fine carnival event, the rodeos, trucks, the whole works, the fair, all the 4-H projects, the animals. I'm not sure what happened with the 4-H auction, but it usually goes off real well. So a good time is said, well, there's more to come tonight. The rides are open, as Bob mentioned earlier, had me announce the rides are open again. I have to report the kids are in good shape considering. But we've got a lot going on. Looks like destruction derby time might be happening later. Well, stick around here, folks. You see these beautiful awards, the perpetual trophies that we uh, give to the contestants, and they get to return them and uh, show off and have bragging rights for this crazy event. But uh, by golly, we're proud of it. Looks like we're getting closer to having a list here. One in the middle here is our big perpetual that hold up. All of these trophies, they get to actually take them home and walk around town with them, you know, brag about it, get on the radio station, a little TV time, maybe, who knows. This is uh, world renowned, uh, and if any of you haven't read the story by Mark Twain about Jim Smiley and the Jumping Frog, take some time and you'll see where this all comes from. All those years ago when they decided to pave the streets in downtown Angels, little celebration took place to create a frog jump to celebrate that paving. Like I mentioned, it's nothing we talk about much, but they used to eat those darn frogs back then in those days. Found them mighty tasty. That quit happening a long time ago. All right, Bob's got a list of checks here and the winners. Bob's going to do announcing. June's going to help pass these things out here. And I'll be happy to turn this back over to Bob in just a moment here. Thanks again for sticking through the heat of the day here with us all, and uh, we'll see you again next year. Ready, Bob? Okay, thanks for your patience. On behalf of the uh, Board of Directors and the Frog Jump Committee and the staff of uh, the Jumping Frog Jubilee, I want to thank all of you for being out here today, and I want to thank all the competitors for a great afternoon of the Jumping Frog Jubilee. We're going to start the awards by uh, awarding eighth place first. And eighth place is going to go to Jean Marks. She gets a plate and a check. The check's $50. By the way, I've got two of my colleagues here from the Board of Directors, June Downham and Gay Callum. Give applause, come on. Where's G? G Martz, where's G Martz? We count to five and then the $50 goes to June. All right, well, we're waiting for G to show up. We're going to talk about seventh place. Seventh place goes to John Kitchell. Where's John? There he comes. Here comes John. Good job, John. Sixth place. 
Sixth place goes to Lillian Fasano. business we want to announce the winner and uh, I don't have the exact length of the jump on this one really long big all right 
First place for the 2008 Jumping Frog Jubilee goes to Jacob Smith. This was 19 feet, three and a half inches. One more, uh, one more announcement we'd like to make while Jacob's enjoying his riches here. Uh, I'd like to introduce former executive uh, director of the fair and a former board, board member, uh, Buck. Would you like to go ahead and make this? Uh... In 1998, Frank Borelli Jr. Come on up, Frank. Where you at? Frank, come on up. He, he didn't win that year, but he come close to breaking the world record. But the big honor was... He got his picture in Sports Illustrated, a first for the Calaveras County Fair. I want to present this to you, the magazine, I've been saving it for you. In this envelope, everybody now enjoy the rest of the fair get up there and take a carnival ride they're rare this year
have an announcement to make. We have a Ford F-250 with an avalanche trailer behind it that is blocking the entrance to the entrance of the Destruction Derby. Please move it as quickly as possible. We're bringing a tow truck. We've got to get into the entrance. We also have a black Harley Davidson, license plate 175956. It also needs to be moved. 